a quick video about doing one-handed riding at the moment i'm holding my gopro showing you how we're going at a relatively slow speed um, now this is something that i've learned to do through purely just um, holding a camera at the same time and it's something that is fairly intuitive it kind of you kind of you get pretty good at it after trying it for a little while and um, the whole thumb control and, and holding on to uh, the handlebar at the same time is quite interesting and then making turns you have to use your body weight quite a lot more um, but one thing that I would say to you is if you are practicing one-handed um, with your oh, with your M365 is to just stay at a slow speed there is absolutely no reason for you to practice at really high speeds say like let's just say you know 15 miles an hour or something like that you just don't need to do it at, um, at, at higher speeds obviously there's more risk uh, of you getting a wobble like that, and you know you you will then struggle to to control that but um, also something to remember if you're doing it like I'm doing here one-handed on the right you don't have easy access to the brake so sometimes you might have to kind of weave yourself into into a stop like that or um, use your second hand for the brake obviously now another benefit of obviously staying slow is if you are going one-handed and something happens you can just step off just something to consider really when you're doing uh, to do when you're doing one-handed maybe you're using this as a camera dolly system similar to what i'm doing here and you're operating one-handed with a camera really effective tool for getting moving shots um, but i would encourage you to practice at slow speeds before trying anything quick that's it for this one.